Amanda Saladin here from Love Life Yarn and today we're going to be crocheting this 30 minute baby hat. It's made with Lion Brand Scarfy Yarn. So that can make easily like three adult hats. So grab you a skein of Scarfy, you can make a ton of these, and a size L hook. And you also need a yarn needle and if you want a pom-pom on top like the original in the photo I made. This one I use their silver and pink skein. They have a ton of great colors so just pick a color you like and we're going to walk through this step by step together. Are you ready? Let's get started. To begin a hat, you can use one of two methods. The one that I used when I wrote the original pattern was to chain four, and we're gonna work all of our double crochet in this last chain right here. If you don't like that, because I put a pom-pom on the end, it has a tiny hole at the top, you can use a magic ring and a chain three, and then just work into the ring. I'm gonna do it as written, the way that I actually made the first hat, because this is a pattern I wrote before, and I'm going back and doing the video for it now. So I'm going to chain four and then I'm going to just work seven double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook, which will give me eight stitches. So to double crochet you yarn over. I like to work in the back loop of my chain. So I'm going to pull the loop and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two again. So you just repeat this until there are eight total stitches, including the chain that you made. So here are three. I'm going to work the rest of my stitches and then we'll come back and work round two. All right, here we are at the end of our round and we're going to work into our third chain or the fourth chain, the top of the chain here. We're just going to slip stitch. So this will be the same whether you did a magic ring or if you did this chain four. Now, like I said, this is going to leave a little hole. I wrote this pattern before I really could do the magic ring very well. So what I used to do is just take my tail end and sew it closed. So you can do that way or like I said, start with the magic ring. So the rest of the pattern is the same for everyone regardless of how you started. Round two, you're going to chain three. Double crochet in this same space. Mine's a little tight, it usually is. And then we're going to work two double crochet in each stitch around, which will give you 16, including our chain three. So work two double crochet here and two. We're just doubling our number of stitches. All right, again, we're going to join in the top of our chain here. We'll join most rounds that way. All right, so we got a little circle here. The next round, we're going to chain three. We're going to work two double crochet in this next stitch. And then we're going to alternate one double crochet two double crochets, one double crochet, two double crochets, so that we increase to 24 stitches and then join with a slip stitch to the top of your chain. Here we are after our third round. It's joined with a slip stitch and you can see we're making a circle. The next three rounds are very similar, so I'm not going to show you all of them on camera. For round four, you'll chain three and then double crochet in the next stitch and then you'll work two double crochet here and now we're going to increase our two double crochet in the same stitch after every two so you'll double double increase which is work two stitches in the same stitch double double increase until you have 32 stitches all the way around join with a slip stitch and then round five you'll chain three so you'll chain right above your other chain and then you'll work double and double and you'll increase in the next stitch and then you're going to work three regular double crochets and then your increase with two double crochet in the next stitch one two three and increase one two three increase all the way around and you'll have 40 stitches round six same thing chain three here and you'll double crochet in the next three so one two three and then increase here 
and then your, your pattern will change to every four. The reason it works that way is because this chain three counts as a stitch. So after you increase, you'll work one, two, three, four, and then double crochet two and increase in here. One, two, three, four, increase and continue. At that point, you'll have 48 stitches and we'll be ready for round seven, which that's when the pattern starts to change. So I'm gonna go ahead and do rounds four through six. If you have any questions, check the written pattern. It's in the description and we'll come back together and start the next round. All right, I've folded my circle. You can see this is the back of our hat. I have finished round seven. So my circle, oh, my yarn's pulling it there. My circle has become the top of our hat and we're ready for the next stage, which will take us out of all double crochet. So for round seven, you're going to chain one and then single crochet in this same stitch right here. So single crochet, chain one, skip our next stitch right here, single crochet, and we're gonna do this all the way around. We're gonna chain one, skip a stitch and now this is giving us now that we've got this 48 stitches we're getting a 16 inch head circumference here if you want a smaller or a smaller hat for a smaller baby or you don't like how open it is you definitely can use a smaller hook so we're going to go all the way around to the end doing this single crochet chain one our last bit when we get back around will be a chain one and we'll join with a slip stitch and we'll be ready for round eight. Okay, I've come to the end with my single crochet and my chains and the instructions say we're gonna turn. So I'm gonna turn my work. Get this behind here. And we're going to slip stitch into this chain space that we just made. So slip stitch here. and chain four, which counts as a double crochet and a chain one. There we are, a nice long looking chain there. We're gonna work a three double crochet cluster in this next chain space. So skip this single crochet. And this is just like working, if you're familiar with double crochet two together or three together in this instance, only in the same spot. So we'll a yarn over first and then we'll just work like we're working a, a double crochet and then stop with two loops left on your hook. Go like you're working a regular double crochet but we're gonna stop with three loops on our hook. One more time like you're working a double crochet. When you have four loops you yarn over and pull through all four and that makes a three double crochet cluster and then chain one, double crochet in the next chain one space, and then we're gonna repeat this around. You'll chain one here, then we'll work a cluster, chain one, double crochet, chain one. All the way around, working a three double crochet cluster in this last chain one, and then chaining one and joining to our third chain here. And that'll work, that'll finish out round eight. Here we are at the end of round eight. And I'm gonna turn again, so now I'm gonna turn it back right side out. And you can see our little decoration down there. Now we're just gonna repeat the last two rounds twice more. So we'll do rounds nine and 10. So nine is gonna be just like seven except that, okay, we chain one, and right here in the chain space, we'll single crochet, and chain one, skip our stitch. So you're gonna single crochet in each of the chain spaces, chain one, and skip your stitches. When you're done with that, 
you'll repeat round eight, which we just did with our clusters and our single, or our, yeah, our single double crochet stitches. Here it looks. So that'll be round ten, and then you just repeat that those two round nine, rounds nine and ten. You repeat for eleven and twelve. So you'll single crochet, chain, single crochet, chain, and do that, and then work your clusters. So you'll have three of these rows of clusters at the end. And we'll come back together and I'll show you the finished project. All right, and after round 12, here is our finished hat. So you can see we did double crochet and then we started with our single crochet and chains and we have these three rows that we did the clusters and our single stitches or <laughs> there's still double crochet, but you know what I mean, one double crochet there. And here is our hat. So I know some people were concerned with when I originally wrote this pattern that it kind of gets a little disc shaped up here, but as you keep going, it, it does lie down. Now, if you did the chain two like I originally wrote it, you'll have a little hole up here, which like I said, when you sew on a, a pom-pom, it'll get rid of it. Or if you just take your yarn tail, what we have in here, where I originally cast on, or chained, I'm thinking knitting apparently. Um, you can just take that and close it up with that and a yarn needle like so. Just put it on there and just kind of, you know, stitch back and forth and it will close up that hole. And then you just fasten off and this is your little hat you can have in 30 minutes. Like I said, if you want a smaller one, feel free to go down a hook size because this is a rather large hook, but I like this size with the scarfy yarn and if you want it a little bit smaller so this one's a 16 inch circumference and the height of it here let's see so about five and a half inches for our height so it's like i said for a little bit older baby so if you want a newborn go down to maybe a k size hook and you can get that so i hope you've enjoyed this video we have more than 250 free patterns at love life yarn so come visit us there and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.